let's see what's coming your way and we already see temperance um sagittarius energy and the hermit virgo energy if not we might be a little bit out of balance and um um you know how it feels it feels like we had our soul journey right we had to think about you know you, you know when um <laughs> It's kind of an expression it's kind of um you know when we say when when the shit hits the fan right so we have to go deep and we have to think about you know because it happened and, and, and it's all over the place so it's like okay let me sit down and kind of understand and figure out why and what went wrong and this is how it feels and it was the hermit energy right so we had to think like deeply think of some stuff and by the end of the journey, we got out of balance. It's like, no way, you know, when we have those kind of revelation and it's like, no, that's, this is not me. No, 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 this is not possible. No, 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 this is not who I am, you know. Um, can be this. For some of you, it's a Sagittarius um, deciding to talk to you again because the hermit is in reverse. So somebody opens, opens line of communication, comes back from um, ghosting you. Um, but it was with a purpose, right? Um, or it can be simply for some of you, we'll see how the energies evolve and um, call us, but the, the Hermit in Reverse is, um, can very well be a Virgo at the distance out of balance. We do have the Temperance and the Ace of Pentacles. Good, somebody has an offer for us. So we, we are listening, right? We are listening. Um, we love Ace of Pentacles, of course, because this is new beginning, a stable new beginning. This is um, somebody kind of saying, you know what, I appreciate this, but I'm going slowly. And the full a leap of faith. We love this. We saw the full in reverse. And I hope I'm not making a lot of noise uh, while I shuffle. I do it so cautiously because some of you told me it's kind of, um, it's kind of annoying, right? Um, temperance in reverse and the emperor in reverse. Somebody here is um, out of balance and out of control. What's going on, Taurus? You drove somebody nuts. What's going on? Or maybe this is you, somebody putting you... Oh, no, no, no. We are getting control here. Um, the magician, manifestation and new beginnings. Life-altering events. We love this and we love the magician. But anyways, we're done. Let's see the bottom of the deck for the overall energy here. And uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I really, um, I watched some stand-up comedy and there was a lot of shit, shit, shit in the, and now it's like shit got unstable, you know, with the Ten of, <laughs> with the ten of Pentacles in it was like shit got unstable. Okay, so we are in trouble, <laughs> kind of. And I know, why am I laughing, right? Oh my God, you are right, you are right. I have no reason. Um, so we do have 10 of pentacles in reverse, so, um, and 2 of pentacles, and the 9 of cups. Oh yeah, not only unstable, but also we are a little bit, um, not in a happy place right now. And I do love the 2 of pentacles, right? This is the energy of, okay, I will make this, uh, a thing work again, right? 2 of pentacles is really, um, juggling multiple responsibilities to keep the situation stable, to keep yourself, um, stable. Um, do whatever needs to be done. Two of Pentacles is really about like feeding the kids, cleaning the house and working a couple of jobs while um, managing the commit to keep a commitment um, going because we might be again a little bit unhappy and a little bit unstable. We'll, we'll see for some of you Ten of Pentacles is a divorce situation, is a separation, it's a money problem following a separation, right? Because this is a love reading, so Taurus, past energy is on your side, the person you are dealing with. Okay, mutual energy, you get three. So, current energy is on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies. And let's see the possible outcome. On your side, the person you are dealing with. Bottom of the deck, seven of swords. Shit got really unstable. <laughs> And also lying. Um, I know I shouldn't say that. Um, but I had so much fun watching it. Let me tell you. Um, Page of Swords. There might be some... Oh, and the Justice. What's going on, Taurus? Are we getting a divorce over here, baby? 
Are we getting a divorce because the bastard cheated on us? What's going on, baby, here? We do have the Justice, Seven of Swords, and the Page of Swords. This is like um, somebody getting caught, right? That's, and we serve um, them with the paper saying, you know, baby, if you want to cheat on me, well, I haven't said yes. Uh, so, you know, you decided by yourself. So here comes the signature here. And I'm gone, right? Kind of energy. And it might be. Uh, but I'm sensing you are the one that's unhappy, so I don't know who gave us because Page of Swords is also signing the papers, right? It's signatures and official papers and so on and so forth. And with the justice, it's um, like unexpected kind of, you know, somebody serving you the papers, your um, husband, your wife, and saying, baby, this is over. You know what? I'm done, 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 done. And then the whole unstable situation that followed in. We have you staying strong. That's why I kind of believe that it happened. I don't want to say a while ago because we have all this energy still lingering in your energy. So probably some recent past of some sort. But we have you in the Two of Pentacles, right? Trying to figure out what's going on. So in the past, as um, taught us, we do have the Four of Pentacles in reverse and we have the Five of Swords. So uh, we gave up fighting, right? That's a Four of Pentacles. I'm letting go of the fight. I'm letting go of the conflict. I need some balance and some stability in my life. I am done. You know how it feels like one of those arguments that you can never, ever win? Um, because the, the other person always has the words, the tone. Um, you know, they know how to present an argument and they always have an explanation for whatever. And it's just, um, you know, uh, slips through the fingers. Um, it feels kind of, you know, you're letting go, throwing your hands up in the air with the Four of Pentacles and saying, you know, I, 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 I can no longer do this. And the Five of Swords, the energy of conflict and, um, and um, defeat, honestly. That's the Five of Swords. Combined with the Seven of Swords, it's a whole uh, world of fighting. It's, a, it's a, a superior level, right? Because fights is like we fight in all honesty. This is what I think. This is, and Seven of Swords, it's a little bit behind your back, but also a little bit of manipulation there and mind games. And, um, you know, you know when people have skills fighting, I, I've met a couple of them in my life and they, they were really very um, high potential skilled people in um, having arguments and some of them having arguments without having an argument, right? So just saying. <laughs> kind of feels a little bit like, you know, because Seven of Swords, it's a very smart energy, right? So somebody was very smart in, in, in this, you know, and always being right. So this is how it feels, right? So you were dealing with somebody, let me tell you, quite skilled. Now, this person you are dealing with, um, Taurus, might be a Sagittarius, we saw Temperance, and now we have the Knight of Wands, can be a Libra too, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius with the Page of Swords. They, in the past, they came from a place of love, two of cups, right? Taurus, you, they had love for you. They had love for you. Um, they had emotions. They had a bond. Uh, two, of, two of cups is the energy of, a, of um, soulmate union, spiritual union. It's the energy of um, honest love, true love. And we have the knight of wands in reverse. So I don't know if they uh, became less passionate about or there was maybe they got away. That's how we get the energy in reverse. Um, maybe you've been dealing with somebody very playful and, you know, playing the field, always uh, looking out and seeing if they, if they can have a little bit of fun. Um, but can also be the energy of, um, you know, um, having emotions for you, but not a lot of action with the Knight of, um, Knight of Wands. Now, mutual energies in the past, we do have the Tower in Reverse, an almost disaster, the Two of Wands, Crossroads and Regret. So I believe somebody might have done something that uh, brought kind of both of you to the uh, verge of a disaster here with the, the tower in reverse. Maybe this happened at crossroads. Should we divorce or not? Maybe, again, the papers might have been served and the five of cups. An energy of regrets. I shouldn't have. Why, have, why in the world have I done this? The energy of um, changes, emotions. No longer seeing the love in this but only the fight the betrayal and the almost disaster that maybe one brought to 
on the on the other person now Taurus, I'm, I'm seeing the warrior energy on your side we'll see how it evolves but probably something inside of you got you so hurt that we might um you know um have picked up all kinds of um of energies while dealing with this person i think we're honest you know two of cups is quite an honest energy so um but then we make mistakes and nobody's perfect so somebody might have done something and we might have found out about it and and and, and then we know how it goes um that is where are we right now we do have the fool and the queen of wands again might be a fire sign you are dealing with knight of wands queen of wands it's like going in opposite directions here uh the fool goes that way and the queen of wands um has her own path so again can be masculine energy can be feminine energy any kind of of energy but i'm sensing like okay let me open a new chapter here probably that's what uh, the energy around you this is what you manifest and you think right that you'll have to start new you know um we'll see how the uh, the energies evolve but I, i'm i'm not sensing a happiness here on the contrary i'm sensing ex escaping disasters and uh, crossroads being imposed and emotions and it's like the only way is a new beginning, right? The the only way, the, on, the only way out and leaving behind something. Um, so Taurus, this person of yours, I love this, Seven of Pentacles, uh, Seven of Cups, sorry, in reverse. This is clarity and no longer and making choices and you are their choice. We do have the King of uh, Pentacles and this is your energy. So all that to say they are choosing you no matter what um and i'm sure they had options i mean knight of wands with the seven of cups kind of speaks of again the playful energy um you know making sure they are appreciated and loved and adored and because they want to you know validate a couple of feelings there but at the end of the day they choose you right you are the one and guess what mutual energy is between you and this person it's the four of pentacles and the king of pentacles so they hold on to you Taurus honestly that is a sense of stability probably that you bring to the table king of pentacles is the energy of the provider of the a stable person there for the long-term commitment um solid right with um real roots um and both energies are saying i'm choosing you and i hold on to you i love this moving forward we do have the hierophant and the king of cups pisces cancer scorpio energy and we have more kings we have twice the king of pentacles we have the queen of wands and now we have the king of cups so let's hope we don't have multiple people here but i'm more sensing the energy of this commitment will um find its balance because King of Cups, I mean, he's um, kind of the uh, symbol of um, emotional maturity, emotional intelligence, um, getting back in control of emotions, and it's paired with a Hierophant. Kind of to say that this marriage can be um, saved, um, honestly. Um, a good emotional maturity might be able to save this of course can be a Taurus, Spices, Cancer, Scorpio we are dealing with but I'm sensing the energy coming your way is a little bit more emotional stability in this commitment and maybe this is why we have you ready to take off by yourself because it's like you know maybe you lo you've lost hope in this one but actually the energy is coming your way it's a lot of um, stable emotionally stable commitment and Taurus, this person, they want to change their ways. Seven of Swords is now in reverse. We had it as the overall energy, Seven of Swords upright. So absolutely somebody keeping secrets and being in the shadows. Um, you know, um, I don't want to say exhibiting a behavior, but they kept something to their own heart, you know. And um, the hangman in reverse. That is no doubt, um, you know, because um, Hierophant, um, Hierophant, Hangman, um, upright is about I'm not sure so I better observe a bit and I walk a mile in and and I understand in reverse is like I don't I know I don't I don't need to do that and they really want to change their ways right 
Now mutual energies and probably that's how we get the commitment card. And mutual energies between the two of you that is still love, Taurus, in this connection. We have the Knight of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and the Ace of Swords. Might not be expressed, but that is absolutely love. Um, and emotions, of course, Knight of Cups is my I love you, I want to, I want to make love to you kind of energy. So a bond, 360 kind of bond. Um, of course, Ace of Swords in reverse, right? We need a new beginning, but not just yet. We have a little bit of delays here. We have somebody still needing to work on themselves and but they want to change their ways that's for sure but on your side i i believe it's kind of a an abrupt change from the full the position we are in right now contemplating new beginnings taking a leap of faith looking at the future and saying hell i don't know what's going to happen to me but i i'll have to start something new and um and be by myself and we shift into the Hierophant and the King of Cups, which is a world of commitment and emotional maturity. So um, I don't know if this is like um, in and out kind of connection and we went through bumps in a road and somebody cheated and we found out and now it's like, you better get out of my house or something like that, you know, or I'll go out and leave me alone. And, and then they come back with flowers and we're like, nobody cheated. Are you kidding me? I made a mistake. Um, kind of energy, you know, can be very well this one where somebody comes in and says, baby, I swear to God, no one is more beautiful than you are. You know, with the seven of swords, it's like, I promise nobody will be so, I'm, I'm, I'll never be attracted to anybody else but you, you know, kind of energy. This is how it feels here, you know. Um, so let's ask for some guidance. Let's see. Because, of course, King of Cups on your side, we definitely still love the bastard. I know. I know. Don't we all live the ba uh, love the bastard? So we do have forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in the present moment. So we, not only we have to, uh, to love the bastard, but we have to forgive him or her. And we have getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. You know what it tells me, um, Doris? You know, this this feels like a connection that grew apart. And um, you know when we get in a relationship like a 20 years old and we are dead serious and we get married and then, you know, we hit our 30 and then we go to 40 and then it's like, well, there is some distance, right? Still sleeping in the same bed, but we get that kind of distance and we say, well, how about we rediscover each other a bit, right? We forgive and forget and, and how about we start new? That's kind of the guidance I'm, I'm picking up here because they want to change their uh, way of, um, I'm going to call it life. Their ways of doing life. What do we have? A, we have the commitment card again. Um, and of course, this is your energy, right? So, um, Taurus energy. Um, but I'm sensing there's a level of commitment, you know. It's like, um, anyways, I'm not going to say it, but if it comes back, if, it, if it's placed again in my head, I'm going to tell it because it uh, kind of reminds me of something. So we do have embraced those around you. This is a time of great spiritual growth for you, making it even more important to surround yourself with those who love you and share your beliefs. So we are still in the tower in reverse moment, right? Near disaster. Be willing to accept help from others. You could find comfort in traditional solutions or your heart may long to try out new ideas. So this is kind of you being yourself. The guidance is taught us, please stay yourself in, in this whatever... Um, curveball right is um, kind of thrown at you and also we have the commitment card and we also have a message of help here so some of you right if you need help you know it's uh you have to call you have to find right the um the one in the one eight hundred line and we do have five of wands again i know right we have the commitment energy with the five of wands, with the five of swords, with the five of wands again. So that is a form of conflict um, here. 
And the message for you is very simple, right? Your angels want you to know that your current challenges pushes you to be assertive and self-confident. Be willing to stand up for yourself and defend your position. You have the right to excuse yourself from those who bring drama into your life. And with the, with the commitment and the five of wands, I, I do believe that it's a, like a, a deep-rooted um, kind of conflict that we need to attack kind of um, head on, right? But we do have forgiving and learning, so, you know, yeah, we have to deal with this, but at the same time, there is something in it that we uh, kind of need to see the seed of wisdom in it, right? Came here to teach you a lesson, and even the Hierophant is about superior teaching, so. Um, it's kind of like this happened for a reason, and, and we, we need to learn something from it. Um, hey, let's see what energies we need to get back in the flow. And we love this energy of cups upright because there is still love in this connection. There is still a desire to work on whatever happened. And now we have to get the loyalty back into the equation. Your reliability demonstrates your loving sense of devotion and consistency of being. So these are activation cards. These ask us, you know, the energies actually we need to get back into the flow they serve the purpose of pointing out vision what are we going to be like in five or ten years right what's the plan that's the question with the vision no matter what you see the bigger picture of a loving just universe right so this is not happening to you this is happening for you we do have surrender fear let go of the fearful stories you are telling yourself. Stay in the moment. Focus on solutions and celebrate every baby step forward. Loyalty, vision, and no fear approach. We do have surrender to effortlessness, so you don't have to move a finger. Stop pushing so hard. The art of living means going with the flow instead of trying to force the river. And I'm going to take this one. We have denial. I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. That's denial. And we have blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being. I accept responsibility for my well-being. Taught us. Um, I, you are not guided away from this person. You are not guided. I'm not sensing uh, you're being guided away, but boy, it's a struggle and boy, they want to change their ways. So let's give them a chance only if they deserve and if no, nobody is hurt and nobody is in danger, right? You know that, right? Um, hey, Taras, I love you. Please stay safe and strong for me. As always, please let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and come see me next time. Love you. Take care.